So many of you liked the Christmas gnome that I decided to do a 4th of July patriotic gnome. So here we go. Get out your red, white, and blue. I'm starting with a bright blue, navy blue, and black with a mop brush. Taking both shades of blue, I'm just going to do back and forth strokes on, on my entire background. I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas board today. And then before that dries, I want it to be nighttime, so I'm going to blend in a little bit of black. Key is just a little bit, but make it darker towards the top and the bottom and then dry it really good. Now, I don't want my background to be too busy, but I'm gonna take a couple different size pouncers and add some polka dots up in the top area of my canvas. You can put a little bit of blue and red in there too. There we go, that's a little bit more of a festive background. And then taking a size eight round brush, let's make our gnome. Start with his body. I'm going to make it white first with an upside down U in the middle at the bottom of my canvas. Fill it in with white, and then when it dries, you can do whatever color you want. Now I'm gonna use a cobalt blue because that's the color I think of when I think of the red, white, and blue colors in the flag. So I'm fill that in, and that's your body. Also wanna give him some arms, so when that dries, same brush, do two little white arms or appendages coming out from either side of his body. I want him to be holding something later so they are tilted up like that. And don't forget his feet so he is standing on something. So two wider upside down U's at the bottom of either side of his body, almost right underneath his arms. Now let's do his nose. Some tan white and a little bit of red mixed in there to make a skin color. Do an oval at the top of his body. And then with a smaller round brush, we can start his beard. Right around the edge of his nose, I'm going to start pulling wavy lines down with white paint from his nose down in front of his body. Now you can design his beard however you want. I'm going to swoop mine a little bit to the right this time, a little bit more stylized for the festivities, and bring it up around the nose and a little bit wider than his nose too so his hat can be a little bit bigger. You decide how fancy it is. I'm even gonna fluff out some of the edges. And don't forget a little bit of gray to add a little bit of definition and shading to his beard. Don't worry if you add too much, you can always blend it in with a little bit more white. And when all of that's dry, you can color his shoes, unless you wanna keep them white, that would go with the theme too, but I'm going to do bright red shoes. You can do a second coat if you needed to, especially brighter colors, you may need to do a second coat. And with a smaller detail brush, I'm also going to give him two little red stripes on his arms, give him a little bit more of a festive outfit design today. Same color as the nose, I'm going to do two ovals on the edges of his arms for hands so he can be holding something. And once the beard's dry, don't forget to fix up the edge of his nose. I'm even going to do a little bit of shading on the bottom there. There we go, let's start his hat. Now I'm not going to do a normal hat today as a gnome usually has. I'm going to give him more of a top hat. I'm thinking more of an Uncle Sam theme. So let's see here, I'm gonna straighten out these edges. More of a short top hat there, but since gnomes do normally have tall hats, let's make it a little bit taller. Perfect. Did it white first so I can make it whatever color I want. I'm going to do the rim of his hat red to match his shoes. And so it looks a little bit more like a flag. I'm going to do a couple stripes of red at the top, fix those up as needed. And on the decorative part of his hat, let's do some blue to match his shirt. Fill that in completely. And then I'm going to take a clean round brush and just fix up his nose. I want the top of his nose to go in front of his hat. There we go. Now I'm going to add some stars to the blue stripe of my hat. I'm going to do two white lines going up to a point like an arrow pointing up. Then from the bottom left point, I'm going to take a line and go through the middle of that right side and out. And then same thing on the bottom right, bring it up and out the middle of the left side. So they are right across from each other and connect the two. See that? You can fill that in, connect both of those there. That's how you freehand a star, and then you can fix it up however you want. I had enough room to do five stars. You do as many as you want. He's getting there. Now, I do like to line my figure, so just taking my detail brush and some black paint, I'm going to outline different areas that I want to stand out from the background. This is also your chance to clean up any lines that weren't quite right. I also like to take white and highlight the nose, the hands, the feet, some on the hat. And let's finally give him something to celebrate with. Let's make a sparkler by making a black line go up through his hand. 
Let's make a white dot and some white lines coming out from that dot for it to be a sparkler. If it's really sparkling, make them a little bit longer like that. And I wanna even mix a little bit of yellow in there to make it look like it's glowing. And how about in the right hand, maybe he likes fireworks. So we're gonna do a little firework rocket, make a long, slightly wider at the bottom rectangle and fill that in with red. Do a black triangle at the top for the top of the rocket. Maybe some white curved lines in the middle there for decoration. And don't forget some highlights and a little spark thing at the bottom. I actually don't know what that's called either. And now this is your chance to add any more details. I'm gonna add more highlights and shading. Maybe even some spritzes of the sparkles. See that? Some white paint watered down. I'm just tapping the brush over top. You can also use a toothbrush. And let's take a toothpick and add even more sparks coming out of that sparkler. Whatever you do, just remember to make it your own. This is my version of a patriotic gnome, but he can be holding whatever you want. It could be a different background, different hat design. Have fun with it. I'd love to see how it turns out. And if you like this tutorial, follow me for more.